creature. Guys, it's a creature. <laughs> Is this normal? Hey guys, it's Rose yeah. and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another cook with me video. Yes, guys, we're back with a cook with me video. If you guys are not familiar with the cook with me videos, well, they're pretty self-explanatory. We basically just cook together and you watch, okay? And uh, usually with these videos, I like to try out a new recipe that I haven't tried before. So I'm really excited because today we're gonna be making a two ingredient seitan recipe, okay? Anyway, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare and I'll be talking about them a little bit more later on in the video, but first let's talk about this two ingredient seitan. So I've been seeing this a little bit around social media in the last week or so and I was absolutely amazed. First I saw Shay George or Shay Jorge, don't know how he says his name, okay, but I saw him making this on TikTok and I was like, oh my. I need to try. And then my friend Lisa from The Viet Vegan, she made a YouTube video basically detailing out how to make this. So then this was my calling, I had to try it. So today I'm gonna be trying the two ingredient wash flour method seitan recipe. And I'm gonna be following Lisa from The Viet Vegan's recipe. So I'm gonna link her video down below. If you guys haven't checked out The Viet Vegan, you need to check her out. She is super awesome. And uh, she's also a fellow Canadian. She makes delicious recipes. And yeah, you guys should check out her channel. So her recipe video will be down below. I will be following her video. So she's gonna be the expert. I'm gonna be the noob as always, okay? So let's, um, let's get the two ingredients ready. We got water, we got Flour! That's it! <laughs> okay, so yes guys, literally, it's two ingredients. It's flour, I'm using all-purpose flour, believe it or not, and water. I mean, I usually don't even count water as an ingredient, so it's just one ingredient. Okay, well, we'll use uh, vegetable broth later, so maybe that's the second ingredient. Anyways, so apparently, according to Lisa, okay? Lisa, don't let me down. <laughs> according to Lisa, I mix uh, the water with the flour. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's uh, let's get the water in there and then you just knead it. Okay, that's the first step. That's the most important step. It's a lot of flour. It's 1200 grams of flour and three cups of water. So it's like a lot. Okay, oh my gosh, this feels weird. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Um, okay, I'm just gonna do it. It's very sticky. <sighs> Guys, I don't even know like when it comes to kneading, I don't even know if kneading, like, I don't even know what kneading really is. I just, you know, is this kneading? Am I kneading? I don't know. Anyways, oh God. So it's kind of flaky. She says it's flaky at first and then it'll start to come together. Doesn't seem like enough water. Maybe I added the water too quickly. Okay. She says she did this for like five to 10 minutes. So that's a pretty long time. It's gonna be the arm workout of the day. You know what? I'm gonna... My hair. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this out and uh, do it on the table because I think it'll be easier. Okay. Why am I already tired? It's been maybe a total of five minutes. I think it's starting to come together. Now I think we want to make it so that it's smooth. And uh, so far, it's not really like smooth yet but it's coming kind of together. So apparently, according to Lisa, you wanna knead it until it's smooth and then you can like poke it and then it like bounces back. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> she said if you poke it and if it doesn't, it should bounce back pretty well. And if it doesn't, then you need to knead it more. So I'm gonna knead it more because we want the bounce back. Do I just, does that count as kneading? <laughs> does it count as kneading? <laughs> okay, let's try. Is that enough? No. How long do I have to do this? I swear it's been 10 minutes. Okay. Okay guys, I think I'm, at this point, I think it's good enough. <laughs> 
feel like it's been it's definitely been over 10 minutes okay i'm gonna make it into a nice ball like lisa did it's probably not gonna look as nice okay so i'm gonna do a, the bounce test in a little bit now it's looking uglier than before okay it's smooth though okay let's do a bounce test Good enough for me. <laughs> At this point, I don't care. It's been like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So she said, after you do that, you place it in cold water, okay? Okay, so I got some cold water. I'm gonna, I probably need a little more cold water. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna fill it with a little more cold water. All right guys, so now we have the dough the dough ball sitting in the cold water and apparently now I just have to wait about two hours before moving on to the next step which gives me plenty of time to tell you about our sponsor which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes that you can take in the comfort of your own home you guys. There are so many different classes to take, so many different topics such as business, entrepreneurship, digital marketing, social media, photography, videography, lifestyle, style I mean so so many classes to choose from and I feel like right now is such a great time to try out Skillshare because you know we're staying at home a lot of us are feeling a little less motivated and we're feeling lazy and it's just a great place to spend your time so that you can feel more accomplished and more productive Right now, I'm taking a class called Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally by a fellow YouTuber, Nathaniel Drew. This class is all about techniques and ways to document your life intentionally through different methods, and intentionally is the key word, and I found this concept to be very intriguing because so many of us are running on autopilot when it comes to living our lives, and even when it comes to creating content, so I think there's something to say about capturing pieces of your life in a more thoughtful and intentional way. All right, guys, so if you guys wanna try out Skillshare, today is the perfect time because the first thousand people to click the link down below will get a completely free trial of Skillshare. So you can try out Skillshare for free, see if you like it, and if you want to continue it, it's only around $10 a month to keep learning. So it's an awesome place, you guys. Don't forget to check out the link down below. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now, all we have to do is wait two hours, and I will see you guys in two hours for the next step all right friends it's been two ish hours a little longer actually hope that's okay so this is the situation that we're working with um so apparently the step oh my gosh is to wash it with cold water oh it feels weird <laughs> Woo! Woo so the whole point is to basically wash out the starch out of the flour so i'm gonna fill this with water i'll be right back all right, so now we just have to wash the starch from the flour, apparently. Um, it feels very strange. It kind of feels like clay. Like, it's kind of fun, actually. And apparently you can save this water to make, like, rice noodles or something or, like, other recipes because it's, like, starch, right? But, um, oh my god, I don't know if I'm doing this properly. I see how the water is, like, super milky? Okay, so then what Lisa did was she, uh, she like strained it. Why does mine look funny? Okay. She strained the water and she saved the water, okay? Because you want to make noodles. I want to make noodles with it. But let's focus on this first. So then you want to do another wash. So apparently you want to wash basically until like the water kind of runs clear. And that means all the starch has been like washed out. Oh, I guess I could just kind of wash it like this. But it looks, look, look how stretchy it is. Whew. Look at this creature. Guys, it's a creature. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do another one. This is the second uh, water batch. Oh, okay. So we're gonna do another thing and I don't really know how long this is gonna take. Lisa said it's gonna take about 15 minutes. Lisa, that's too long, okay? It's starting to kind of break apart. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know, but it's still very milky. So we're gonna go in with a third, or a fourth, and we're gonna make more starch water. It's gonna make a lot of noodles if I make noodles out of this starch water. <laughs> is this normal? You know what? 
I trust in the process. I trust in the process. They make it look so easy, okay? They make it look like it's just gonna happen right away, but it's not, okay? I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it takes, um, it's a process, okay? It's, okay, well now at this point it's foamy. This is the fifth wash. Fifth wash, my friends, fifth wash. <sighs> okay, all right guys, so that was wash number five. It's still very starchy. Look at this water, it's still very milky. So I'm not really sure. And at this point, it's kind of looking like what Lisa's look like, like kind of breaking apart a little bit. But it's apparently you're supposed to have it come together and it should run relatively clear. And I don't think we're close to that yet. And I've already made a ton of starch water. So I don't really know at what point will it run clear. Okay guys, my shoulders are hurting, okay? But it's still coming out kind of milky, but I think with this final wash, I think we're gonna make this the final wash. For me, I had to wash this like nine times. This is like the 10th wash, and it's kind of come together again. Before it was kind of breaking apart, but now I think it's kind of come back together. And um, it's very interesting. Ooh, yeah. All right, so now I think uh, what we do is we leave it on here and just let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes and apparently that relaxes the gluten whatever that means i'm not sure but apparently that's what we do so i'm going to let it rest for about 15 20 minutes and then we're going to come back and do the next step <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like i don't understand it okay i can't stretch it though what okay hold on do i need to relax it longer all right guys, so uh, I've let it sit. It's literally nothing now. I don't really know if this is correct. No, it looks weirder. Why? I don't know, guys. I feel like the gluten has kind of disintegrated. I don't know if this is working, but I'm gonna try to put it together and do what Lisa did, which is like knotting it. And it looks perfect what she did, but I don't think I can make it perfect. Well, now I'm questioning everything. I'm just gonna go with this and just cook it all separate. Like what Lisa did was she put it all together and she knotted it and then she cooked it all like kind of like a big piece of like thing. And I don't think I could do that because this is not coming together. And I don't have patience or the time. So we're gonna cook it like this. We're gonna slow cook it like this. We're gonna take my handy dandy rice cooker, multi cooker thing because I have a slow cooker function on here. And we're gonna make like a broth so let's start with water. So into my slow cooker slash multi cooker, I'm just gonna add some water. So I added about, about four cups of water and then I'm gonna add a veggie stock cube. I'm just gonna break it up with my fingers. And then I have this um, chicken style seasoning by Butler Foods, just a random seasoning. I think, I think you can use any sort of like poultry seasoning. I'm gonna add like, I don't know, two tablespoons? Oh, why is it like, I don't know if this is gonna work. And then I'm just gonna whisk it. Okay. And then I guess I'll just uh, plop these in, these pieces that I don't think is supposed to be like this. So I'm gonna let this cook. Um, Lisa said to let it slow cook for like two hours. So I'm gonna do that and then I have to take it out and then apparently you have to sit it in your fridge for another like eight hours. So I'm gonna have to come back to you tomorrow basically or maybe in about two hours and give you guys a bit of an update. I'm not happy that I couldn't put it together in like the nice knot like Lisa did, but um, we're just gonna have to make do with what we have. So yes, I'm gonna plop it on the slow cooker setting for two hours and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my god, what did I do? Ew. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to steam this because it's not you. Okay, so I feel like I can redeem these. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is for half of the stuff, I'm gonna put it in the fridge with the broth and just let it sit overnight. And for half, I'm gonna try frying it today and then Let's see what happens.
Okay, it actually doesn't look so bad. I feel like this is redeemable. I feel like I can eat this. Okay, I'm just gonna try a piece. It's definitely edible. <laughs> like, it has just like a strange texture. Like, it really kind of reminds me of like fish cake texture or like, you know those little fish balls that you find in like hot pot? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this texture. But it's like kind of that fish cake texture. All right, you guys, so it is the next day and we are gonna check up on our seitan, okay? <laughs> so yesterday I put the seitan, the seitan, in my little multi-cooker on slow cook for two hours. And when I took it out, it looked raw. <laughs> it just looked kind of like raw and weird and like slimy and it was just weird so i thought i had to throw it away i thought it was just over it was done with but then i was like you know what i'm determined to at least try okay i can't say i didn't try so i decided to steam it okay i steamed it for about i think 40 minutes or so and then i took and then when you steam it it kind of like expands a little bit becomes bigger and then i took half of that steamed seitan and then I pan fried it, okay? So here's the pan fried stuff. This is what it looks like. You know, it wasn't... It's not so bad. I feel like I could eat it. It's pretty chewy, a little rubbery. It's not the worst seitan I've made. <laughs> so I think if I put this in like a stir fry dish or something, it would be not bad. So I fried half, and then the other half, I I decided to just soak it in the broth and then just leave it in the fridge. I don't know. I'm going to take it out. I honestly don't know how, what went wrong, okay? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think we can work with it. I'm just going to like... Again, it's like the same texture, obviously. It does kind of taste like chicken. That's obviously the seasoning, but the texture, it's not like flaky. It's more densely packed. It really reminds me of like fish cake. I think we can make it happen. <laughs> it's not what I was, what I was hoping for, but um, it's also not gonna be going to waste. I'm still gonna eat this. So there you go. There was my, I believe that was my third attempt at making some sort of seitan. And once again, maybe it's just not in my blood. <laughs> maybe I just don't have that talent. You know, we can't all be good at everything, okay? This is just not, this is not my forte, okay? But at least I'm not gonna waste it. I'm still gonna eat it. And it's kind of meaty. It's just not as like flaky. Like I was hoping to like be able to rip it out, but something went wrong. I don't know what I did. If you guys have any idea as to what went wrong, let me know. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I will link Lisa's video down below. She makes it very well. So you can try to follow her steps and see if you mess up like I did or if you can make it beautifully like she did. I'll also link Shay George's video as well. I think his is on Instagram. So if you enjoyed this video guys, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check out Skillshare and get that free trial. Remember that the first thousand people to click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare. So don't miss out on that and check out some other courses. And thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.